Hello guys and welcome back to the Zane Investing. Ready to delve into some information regarding AMC stock, as AMC is back in the green today, after being in the red on April 25. Based on the hammer candlestick pattern, a bullish uptrend and a buy signal appear to be in the cards. Bear in mind that I am not a financial advisor, so bear this in mind. Um, I did however, make some transactions on this. Right. I am also willing to place my money where my mouth is. In addition to the shares of AMC stock I already own. In this intraday update, we'll cover all the information you need to know about AMC stock, as well as the current state of the markets, as today is a major trading day that will only get wilder after the closing bell. So let's get started with all of this important information. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And leave any comments, queries, or concerns in the section below. Now let's get started. I'd like to call attention to this article first and foremost. It originated from Bloomberg. It states that the ANC ape spread expands with a nearly impossible quotation in 60 days, because the judge stated as much using quotations from Morgan Zern. Given the anticipated stockholder interest, I believe it will be nearly impossible to complete this task in less than 60 days. Zern stated that the judge was amenable to wrapping up the case by the end of June, tentatively suggesting June 20th, 9th, or 30th for a settlement hearing. The danger arbitrage speculators face. The court ruling is expected to be the final and most significant obstacle before they can fully capitalize on the spread, with the expectation that the price differential will disappear once the conversion is finalized. Many individuals had anticipated for a straightforward procedure. The ongoing court case continues to add uncertainty and increase the cost of their transactions. This is the ongoing narrative of AMC. The issue here is that as this is delayed for 60 days, there is an increase in uncertainty, and the costs associated with borrowing are destroying these shorts. Yesterday, I created a video titled AMC Shorts Won't Survive Core, and this is based on the logic that these cost to borrow rates are 2, 3, or 400%, if not higher, because the average number of days out on loan was 113. Therefore, these traders have assumed their short positions with borrowing rates in the hundreds of percent. That is an issue. In the first quarter of 2023, they have lost $1.91 billion. That is untenable. If you're talking about another 60 days, that's almost an entire quarter. 60 days from now, it will be the entirety of Q2. Therefore, they will have to pay these cost to borrow rates for the duration of this quarter. In addition, I estimate that maintaining these short positions will cost approximately $2 billion more. That is an issue. And for this reason, I do not believe that some shorts will be able to survive until the next judgment date, or at the very least, they will have to hedge out their positions until then by purchasing calls or AMC stock outright. The mere fact that hedge funds must either cover their short positions or hedge out their short positions, which is bullish, is likely to generate some bullishness between now and June, if not more. Certainly, 26% short interest on free float is a very adverse indicator. However, if 26% of the float is presently sold short, those short positions must be hedged. That would also be extremely bullish and I expect it to persist. I was incorrect, granted. I expected the courts to provide more information about what will occur and how the due process will be carried out. I therefore anticipated a stronger rally on April 25. This did not occur, but neither did anything negative occur. It was positive, although it wasn't extremely positive, but it wasn't negative either. Therefore, I believe this rally will last a couple of weeks, and I do not believe it will be as devastating as I had originally anticipated. And hopefully, that clarifies a great deal of your questions or concerns regarding the current state of AMC. Currently, AMC is up 1.36% at the time this video was recorded. Incredibly, gentlemen, today's bullishness is unprecedented. If you really wish to boil this down to its essence, banks are the most important factor. The regional banks, FRC, are down 15% once more. Earlier in the day, it was down as much as 40% after plunging about 50% yesterday in response to their earnings. This demonstrated that deposits were departing much more rapidly than anticipated. Therefore, you are receiving this rebound today. That is a positive aspect. However, 
FRC fell to $4.76 per share, making it the first republic to do so. This resembles a hazard zone. This is the area where only a share price decline occurs. This amount alone can force you into bankruptcy. More depositors begin to think, wow, if the share price is falling this quickly, we should withdraw our funds. Have you folks ever seen, um, what exactly is it? The big swindle, where, where, attending this conference, specifically, Bear Stearns, as if they were receiving texts and alerts that Bear Stearns was at 40 and then 38. Then, one minute later, it was 36. And, the throng began to disperse in order to withdraw their funds and liquidate their investments. In the same manner as, this can also work. And after entering a thick, essentially, they assume control of the bank. The bank then ceases transactions and declares bankruptcy. This was the case with both SVB and Signature Bank. And this is roughly the point you were making earlier in the day when the day began to rebound. Granted, we are not out of the woods yet, and that was the major factor that initially weighed heavily on the markets this morning. Currently, the markets are beginning to rally. Therefore, I presume that at least some of your small caps have been improved. The greatest component of the Russell 2000, of which AMC is a part, is AMC. Consequently, I believe that this is another type of tailline factor that is assisting AMC today. Now, technically speaking, this is quite succulent. This line, this ascending support level, indicates that AMC is in an uptrend, and this hammer candle typically indicates a bullish reversal. No surprise, 0% positive order value for orders totaling $2,202,500, not a day with a large quantity of money. Observing some puts targeting the 21st of July with $5 strikes as well as the 28th of April, a put for this Friday at the 650 strike is only worth about $19,000. Therefore, you are not observing nearly as much pessimistic activity for the April 21 option expiration as you are for this Friday's option expiration. Now, stock tracker data. ANC is climbing again today, not necessarily resulting in more conversations being profitable in the money bets are seated at approximately 32,000 out. The money calls at a price of 137,000, while in the money puts are priced at 36,000 and out of the money puts are priced at 301,000. Overall, I no longer anticipate a day with a 20% chance of rain. I no longer really anticipate a 10% day. However, I anticipate that 1 to 5% will more often than not yield to this positive outcome. If, however, the 50 day, and 100-day moving averages are breached once more, it could become somewhat more explosive or perhaps more consistently bullish. After we breach these moving averages, it wouldn't surprise me to see two or three green days for each red day or green day we observe. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, this concludes this video. In the remarks section, please indicate how you feel about this information. What do you people anticipate AMC will do? Where do you anticipate AMC stock to go? Nonetheless, thank you for viewing and I'll see you in the next video.